not, I may just give up because I've attempted this about 30 times to get the video to uh, record. And every time I get it going, it stops on me. So luckily this is seeming to be working now. So I'm going to start. I'm just going to pop these screws out as quickly as I can because of two things. One, I noticed when I did the video to demonstrate it, it worked. It always works, but it used to be stronger than that. And I want to see if there's an internal cause for that. I have never actually had this open in its time with me of about two years. I did a testing series on it that was an instructional video series for the employees of Fearless Salvage uh, that never got to see it because we never did the uh, business. It didn't work out that way. COVID came along and stopped it. So I'm just going to pop all these out. And you can see some of these are quite, quite long, guys. They run right down into the side of this. Here, let me see if I can pull one out here and show it to you, okay? So, they're pretty big. Uh, I hope that you guys can see this well enough. And I will try and move it so that you guys get a good view. Hopefully this will be good enough. Whoa, I lost it. Learn it, Jim. All right, so here we go. Now we need to be very careful when we open this. You see this, we got some wire in here. And take a look what I'm seeing in here. Now, this is something I had noticed. This feels, this isn't water. This is lubricant, okay? And it's right inside. Now, if you look inside here, you're going to see something else here. And I'm just going to show this to you guys. So now, we have the entirety of this exposed, okay? And you can see right down in here. And you can see what I'm talking about. This is oil, guys. This is not water. This is oil. Somebody has filled the bilge with oil. Now, I know me, look at this stuff leaking down here. I know me, and I have never, ever put oil into this, but I had problems with uh, OCH, Ottawa Community Housing, and they were coming into my room illegally, and the last time I had run the bilge, I was having problems with them, and it was sitting in the bathroom, and I think they went out of their way to do a little service on my bilge. Anyway, so I noticed that it wasn't operating correctly. Look at the amount of fluid that's coming out here, guys. Like, I'm literally picking it up with a towel. There's so much. They filled this with oil, and all they had to do was dump it into here, into the tube, because the tube goes right down in here. This is the motor. You know how bad it is to get an electric motor filled with lubricant? Uh, a little bit of lubricant isn't so bad. It, it helps lubricate all the seals and stuff. And if I wanted to store it long term and it was, say, used in water, especially salt water. Okay, guys, OCH, I did have problems with them. They came into my room a whole bunch of times illegally. They weren't the ones who filled this. You did, may look like sabotage to somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, but I had forgotten that I had done this. This is how you put it into proper storage. If you look inside, you can see the perfect condition of these coils, and it's because the lubricant has prevented. It was filled. I literally filled it with oil. And even with all the water that was pumping through it, this is after the test video you guys saw. Now look at this. This is really loosey-goosey here. And that needs to be addressed. So I'm going to address that. I'm also going to, this is the first time I've had it open, but I knew after all the testing I did with it and the fact that I was going to store it over winter and the fact that this is serious equipment for me, uh, I decided, now this is not your typical motor. This does not rotate, guys. This is not a rotational mass. So this is not what you're thinking, but it does have a pump in here that has an impeller and all that that is driven here. And I wanted the impeller to stay lubricated, but I also wanted all the internals to stay rust free. And I was using it in water, okay? And in a fair bit of water and consistently for weeks. Well, because I did that, I thought after, I was like, oh man, I really got to put enough lubricant in this to fill it in. So I, I filled it in here uh, I never did open it to do this, and I filled it in here. So I forgot that I have to undo all that I did and take all this out before I test it. So we got a very, very weak, 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 weak test last time. Uh, and even still, it was moving enough fluid. Uh, but it's a good thing I had forgotten because in the end, it lets me show you this in the video uh, rather than having it an unknown. You know what I mean? So you can see here... This is a very simple, 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 simple uh, setup. Very simple setup. In fact, you can see you've got something here that we don't actually need for this, but it's there anyway. So I'm going to put this all back together. I'm doing it 
in front of you, because it was originally my plan to show you anyway. And now we need to seat this correctly. And this does not go in the hole, guys. Just so you know, it actually goes in the thick hole right here. properly seated down in here. I want all this to be properly seated down in here. And then this actually gets spun around like so, and it gets put together like so. Now, the reason is you want to have a vent here, and you'll notice it gives you a thicker section here for the vent. So I don't know if you guys can see that properly, but now we are going to do a quick back together because I have readied it for use, which means draining the lubricant out of it. It's much like a car engine when you want to preserve it and you're going to store it for a long time. It had fuel in it. It might have taken in water, uh, especially where, where the water systems are involved. And filling them with fluid uh, will preserve them. So the bilge still fucking technically functioned, which blows my mind that it still worked at all. And I didn't remember until after the video series that I just released. I went to pick up the bilge and move it and all the lubricant came out and I was like, oh no, I forgot to take it out. I'm amazed it worked at all. What's more amazing is that there was nothing but lubricant in the system. No water came out of there. That was all lubricant, guys, which is amazing in and of itself that there was that much in there. Uh, and so I am just going to start these ones. get them running like so making this all a little more solid so when I put this guy in just remember not to damage the cord while you're doing this and you do not have to dismantle it to put the lubricant in but what you do is basically fill it with oil uh, and what I've used for that is actually mineral oil uh, and if you have a, a disc brake system on your bicycle you'll be well familiar with mineral oil uh, it's also used to store brake systems in cars, believe it or not. So, now this is where the real trick comes in. You have to have these properly lined up, guys. Every one of these goes into a very specific spot. So you'll see the correct alignment as you set it up. Meaning, you can't help but notice it. Because otherwise, there's nowhere for these to seat. So I'll show you that in a minute. But for now, I'm just going to throw this together. You don't want to put them tight in case some of the other ones need some adjustment. You want to have them loose enough to where you can still move it around if need be. In this case, I don't need to do that. And as we secure these, it'll snug the whole unit down. And so we're going to secure them in a cross type pattern. Now you see here, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's pretty far down on the build here. Let me move it back. So if you guys can see right here, there's a little nub. So you got to put it into the nub. And that is where your threads are. So there's four of them, as you can see. There's another one here, right here. So we're going to put this guy in, right side up would help. So this would explain why in the last video, because I was giving it some thought too as the video was going. I noticed it didn't shoot straight up like it did in previous videos. You guys will see what happens now. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't upload those videos. I wasn't planning on showing it. In fact, you only need two changes to make a patent. And had my company taken off, I would have patented this as well as uh, three other devices that I designed for my salvage company. Um, because I am an engineer, or at least I have an honorary degree in engineering, uh, I did get that by earning it, guys. I got that because I built stuff. And the stuff I built was patentable and even borderline revolutionary. Uh, this is not going to be a revolutionary engineering design, but you will see. It flowed enough water before, all full of lubricant, guys. Stay tuned, because in the next video, we are going to show you what this is really capable of, because this is a half horsepower build, you guys. Half horsepower. This is what would usually be found in a large boat, not a small boat. A small boat would never have one this powerful. They usually have a quarter horsepower, guys. So... Just in case you guys couldn't see, uh, just so I don't have to reshoot the video, you guys will see that these are the nubs I was talking about here. And as you could see, this runs straight down in. So all you have to do if you want to fill it with lubricant is fill this. 
but then I recommend you do what I did here and disassemble it. Now that shows you how good these pumps are. That pump was literally running filled with mineral oil and it still ran. It still sucked in from the bottom, blew up through the middle and blew it out here because all this action happens down here. It doesn't actually happen up here, but water gets into the system. And if you don't treat these, they can corrode and it can destroy the pump. So that was one part of this. I wanted to make sure that I didn't ruin it. If I'd have kept trying to figure out what was wrong, I, I actually expected to take it apart and find a blockage in it. I had forgotten all about the fact that I filled it with mineral oil. Uh, it was the last of the mineral oil I actually had for my mountain bike. Uh, and I used it for that. Good advice if you're storing this on your boat over the winter, fill the pump with mineral oil. Uh, you could do the same with your bilge pumps. I actually highly recommend it. And then you can clean them out and you'll see how clean and brand new they look when you're done and you'll know it was the right call. Keith out.